gentlemen, it's time for a tire test. We have the Proline Baja Pro X Predator Compounds against the tires that came on the clone. These are Rocks Tire Super Swamper. Basically, their version of the Hyrax made by Proline, which are those made by Proline. Yeah, go show both these tires to you, and we're going for it. Let's see if these things can hang. Let's go. Here we go. Now, I do got to say, these are those cheap $40 wheels off of Amazon. I got another set of them. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful wheel in my opinion. Now, this also has the Yizzer medium inserts. Yep, I've got Yizzer inserts in these tires right here on the cheap wheels, everything. So, we're just going to have to see how they hang with these. I've done nothing to these except for I had to rebeat a couple of them. But that's it. And yes, these do have a little bit more weight to them. So we'll have to see how that plays a part. All right, let's get these on the truck and let's go. Okay, let's get this started on the ramp. Going to spin them for a few seconds at least. We're at the 34 mark right here. Sometimes you can spin them a little bit and they will actually get a jump. It's like I think we just hit 35 right there. See it? There's 37. Right there. They're going on up now. Just so you guys know I'm not pushing this thing. Okay, so we got 43. Right about 55 seconds into it or so. There's 45. Alright, at this point we are lifting the front left tire. But this thing has made it all the way up to 49. I'll do the same thing with the pro lines. Give them a few seconds to kind of spin a little bit, break in, or get the dust off of them. All right, so it looks like we're going to hold. No, no, no. All right, don't fall off. Don't fall off. When the vehicles torque over like that, it kind of torques the left side tire down. We are doing really good here, guys. I, I'm, I'm in shock. Doing really, really good. Oh, my God. Look at this. No, stay on the course. Stay on. Stay on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting amazed feelings right now. Come on, baby. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, I have to go back and look at the footage, but that was good. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's see how these are going to conform. I'm kind of curious about these inserts by Yizzer. Let's see how these are going to climb up here. Now we'll give this a few seconds to spin up. Those are some meaty, meaty tires, aren't they? Let's see if they, all right, we're getting some climb out of these things, looking good. Coming on up. We were way up there with the stock tires now. I'm going to slow this thing down a little bit, let the tires hook. There we go. Okay, we are pretty much to the same point. I'm trying to slow it down so I don't get too crazy with it the medium yizzers are working really good in that the front left tire isn't got hasn't got much on it we're just kind of sitting here let's see if it's going to move looks like we're going to the left actually with these tires that's one of the things that's kind of weird about doing tire tests and stuff Sometimes it's hard to follow the same, look at this, look at this. It's hard to follow the same line. It may actually hook and go over backwards because tires react so differently. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Woo, that was up there. Now we have this climb that I've done quite a bit. And now when you get to some of these climbs like this, the balance of the vehicle can be an issue. And the metal wheels 
are obviously a little bit heavier than these. So that may actually affect some of the climbs like this. Okay, I don't want to break that front body mount again. <laughs> I've got it glued together. All right, on to the next one. All right, I gotta tell you guys, I like these wheels. I really do. Now, these medium yizzers, they are a little bit stiffer than what I'm used to. But I think for a heavier truck, they're gonna be just about what's needed here. Now, like I did say, the others on the plastic wheels are a little bit lighter. So these do have a little bit more weight down low. Ugh. Close, real close. See what we can do here. This is like creek bed, stone, rock. All right, seems to be going up. Got a little bit off to the side there. See if I can correct that. I don't think so. All right, let's see what these things have got here. Hard to follow the same line. Sometimes tires will slide and just have a mind of their own here. Sometimes they'll track perfectly. And that's the difference on your tires. And these have the user insert, so it's a little bit more different. See if I can get this on a better line. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a better line. Well, I did get a better line, didn't I? There we go. Let's go ahead and finish it all the way over down Super V. Good stability. Sun is going down, so I gotta be quick, but. I love shiny wheels. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! Yeah, oh! Okay, we're still good. Nice. Of course, you guys realize there is no way. Oh, I should do a wood tire test, shouldn't I? Look at that. There's no way I'm going to do this without sending this thing. Just because. Okay. Got to make sure I'm in somewhat position here. All right. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I? Did I? <gasps> Look at that. I pulled the bolts out of the C-Hub. I don't think it's actually broke, though. Let's go see if we can put that back in. With the knuckle and all off, let's go ahead and take these out. More than likely, I strip the threads on these, but I am kind of curious as to how long the bolts are, uh, threads, all that wonderful stuff like that. So, let's find out. They are not so long. I wonder if I can put them back together with a longer bolt. Hmm. Yeah, it certainly did pull the threads out there, didn't it? <laughs> really pulled the threads out. Not very deep. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drill these in a little bit deeper and use some longer screws.
There is the possibility that the axle tube is weakened at this point, and it probably is, but you know what? It's fixed. It's good enough for me. Started off on the ramp, and I'm really impressed at how high these tires got. I really am. I did not expect that. When they started spinning down at the bottom, I kind of expected them to stay somewhere around there, but they didn't. They actually went up really impressive. I was a little bit concerned about these, but these did get them by about maybe two inches though. Maybe, okay? Um, these actually had enough traction to actually roll it backwards. So, yeah, they got that. On the climb on the natural rocks up like that, I have a feeling the added weight of these right here played a huge role in that. The uh, Yizzer inserts were good, but when it comes to the climb, even the super soft stock foams will actually do really good. It's just the side healing that really makes a difference with the printed inserts. But um, the Pro Lines got the win. They should, right? And I actually had to do a repair. But hey, uh, I think this thing has actually earned a real body. Not this ugly turd of a thing, you know? I think it's earned a real body. I think I'm gonna go to J Concepts and see what they got. I've got all kinds of everything, but it was mentioned in one of my videos or maybe it was on the live stream, I'm not sure, that I don't have any Chevys. And they're right. Maybe that needs to change. Guys, check that description. I'll link up this clone beast right here. I'll also link up these tires, the Yizzers, these cheap beadlock wheels, which I really like these things. I'm telling you guys, I like, I like the shine of them. The anodization is actually really good in my opinion really good so anyway that's just me because you guys know i like shiny things and i'm going to shut up because if not i will talk for hours and you do not want that <sighs> i could talk about never mind all right guys let's go and finish this up um yeah check that description use those links hit that subscribe ring that bell all those wonderful things you guys you're why i'm here thank you guys so much uh it means the world to me Guys, y'all have a great one. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.